Last week, we mentioned that a new federal report is laying out some big potential changes for VA facilities across the country, including right here in Montana. But there's a long way to go before any of those might become reality. MTN's Jonathan Amberian looks at how state leaders and veterans are reacting to the recommendations. The VA Asset and Infrastructure Report is the latest step in what has been a multi-year process to catalog all the facilities the department has and figure out the best way to get them ready to continue serving veterans into the future. In Montana, the report recommends closing some VA clinics, but leaders want to make clear that right now that doesn't mean any immediate changes to their operations. I just really want to strongly emphasize that they are recommendations and there's a year-long review process that will be going on to determine what recommendations are sent forward to the president and, you know, some may not. Dr. Judy Heyman, executive director of the Montana VA Healthcare System, says the report hasn't affected how they're proceeding with updating their facilities. We're actually looking at expanding services across the state. The Montana VA healthcare system currently operates 19 locations across the state. The federal recommendations call for closing four of them. Clinics in Browning, Glasgow, and Plentywood, and the Community Living Center, a nursing home in Miles City. They also include other changes, like shifting the emergency department at Fort Harrison to an urgent care center. The report says the buildings suggested for closure are seeing relatively low use, and some services can be shifted to community providers. But Glenn Charbonneau, commander of the American Legion's Department of Montana, has concerns about that approach, particularly in rural Montana. Right now they have care in the community where they outsource a lot of things. That works for like blood tests and x-rays, but extended care, not so much. And it helps when veterans are amongst themselves a lot better than just a bunch of civilians, you know, and not understanding perhaps. Because the report is based on analysis that dates back to 2019, Heyman says some of the recommendations are already outdated, calling for changes that have already happened or are in the works. The Montana VA has already replaced its Missoula clinic with a larger facility, and they're finishing a new clinic in Butte to replace the one in Anaconda. They've also opened new clinics in five other locations in recent years, including in Bozeman just last week. That was a form of validation about everything that we were doing. The Asset and Infrastructure Review was set up by the 2018 VA Mission Act, a bill passed with wide bipartisan support and signed by then-President Donald Trump. But Montana's U.S. Senators have both made clear they have concerns about the possibility of service reductions, and they'll have a lot to say as the process moves forward. The report from the VA under Biden that recommends closing veteran clinics across Montana is unacceptable and shows how out of touch DC bureaucrats are with rural America. The Biden administration cannot ignore the unique obstacles that rural healthcare clinics face and must take that into consideration before closing these clinics. Some people interpret a proposal as a uh, termination of, of a building. That's not true. Now we have to hold those proposals accountable. For example, what metrics did they use? When was the surveys taken? Were docs in those offices? And then we've got to talk to the veterans in the area. Look, if they're going to use it, we're going to make sure they have the services. That's my goal. President Biden has nominated members to the Asset and Infrastructure Review Commission, which will hold hearings on the recommendations before making final proposals. And the president and Congress could then have their own say on the proposals. That means any final decisions are likely still well more than a year away. At Fort Harrison, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.